In Michigan's most broke county, the seven investigators have found one top official using very scarce public dollars to try to fuel his latest political campaign. But tonight, our investigation has sparked a blistering report that could have Wayne County's top cop writing a big check. Here's seven investigator Ross Jones. When Sheriff Benny Napoleon ran for Detroit mayor last year, he lost, and he wasn't alone. Turns out, Wayne County taxpayers didn't fare too well either. That's because, as we revealed back in November, Napoleon charged a small fortune in political expenses not to his campaign, but to the citizens of Wayne County. They all involved his county SUV, used to help patrol the streets during the day, but at night, it squired the sheriff to political rallies, fundraisers, and other events where he could drum up support and votes. And is that proper to be used in a county vehicle? Absolutely. I'm still a sheriff. I still have responsibilities to respond. But you were campaigning. Yes. The president campaigned and he used the plane. But the smile Napoleon showed back in November may be fading soon once he reads this. A 15-page legal opinion written by the special counsel to the Wayne County Ethics Board about Napoleon's vehicle use. It was prompted by our investigation last year. When we confronted Napoleon about the use of his SUV last year, he first said it was proper. But the next day reversed course, vowing to pay back all of the taxpayer money used to fuel his campaign. But now he's changed his mind again, and maybe this is why. Over an eight-month campaign for mayor, the Ethics Board says Napoleon racked up over $1,000 in fuel, more than $800 in vehicle costs, $400 in insurance, and the biggest expense, nearly $16,000 to pay for Napoleon's drivers. All told, the sheriff's failed run for mayor cost taxpayers more than 18 grand. It's unjust enrichment, according to the legal opinion, money Napoleon needs to pay back. Personally, I don't think it's a close case. Retired Judge William Giovanni is the chair of the county's ethics board. We have several provisions that prohibit the use uh, for political purposes uh, of county or uh, publicly supplied vehicles. He's right. County rules and state law prohibit using any county resources for political campaigns. But Napoleon says his position is unique. According to his lawyer, Napoleon is on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He shouldn't be punished, wrote attorney Mark Brewer, for being prepared while he's on the campaign trail. He's not on the job when he's at home with his family. He's not on the job if he's at a movie. Being subject to call is not the same thing as being on the job. I still did my job as, as the sheriff, Ross. But you were running for a political office. And so everybody who runs for a political office keeps their car. Napoleon's lawyer made that argument too. In his letter to the ethics board, he said that prior sheriffs have used their county cars for politics, and in other counties, he says sheriffs are allowed to use their vehicles too. But when it came to providing proof, Napoleon's lawyer wrote he was unable to find any written waivers. County Commissioner Alona Varga doesn't sit on the county's ethics board, but if she did, she says this would be an easy vote for her. I think um, it's just pure wrong and we all should know what the campaign finance law says. The head of the ethics board and most commissioners we spoke to said they don't believe the sheriff ignored the law on purpose. Rather, they think he was doing what other leaders inside the county have done in the past. Bottom line is this, while the legal opinion firmly says Napoleon has to repay the taxpayers, the final decision is expected on October 20th when the seven member board meets. You can bet we'll be there too. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Didn't